Alright, and this is part two of my uh, free commander uh, tutorial on how to synchronize directories. Uh, the um, Let's see here, I am going to, as I mentioned before, I'm, I'm going to synchronize the My Documents folder under my profile with a My Documents folder that I created on the D drive and uh, just introduce some of these uh, there's so many checkboxes that uh, that you won't use very often. Um, <coughs> the um, in general, if you're uh, you want to pay attention to these checkboxes here, um, depending on what you're doing, you'll either want to ignore the date, uh, use the up to two tech seconds delay, um, or the ignore up to one hour time delay um, option, and um, in this demonstration, since I'm making these files immediately, I want to ignore the up to two second. Otherwise, I'll get some um, uh, files that uh, um, I don't want uh, to compare. And um, let's see, I'm going to um, compare the My Documents folder here. And since we're going to be, since the source directory is on the left hand side and the target directory is on the right hand side, target directory, D colon My Documents. Um, I'll want to um, um, hover my mouth over the mouse over these buttons. Um, I'm not going to be copying from right to left, so I'm going to deselect these, and I will be copying from the left to the right. I want to compare first, and um, and don't use these two buttons here, um, especially if you are um, working with several hundred or several thousand files. It's going to um, um, hang up your system because th all those files will be all the equal files and all of the unequal files will be listed below and that will be just too too much um, for most systems and it's uh, completely unnecessary all right so um, and about these uh, check boxes here uh, you'll want to make sure that the width subfolders is selected because you want to compare everything and uh, the hidden ones um, and probably don't want to use uh, CRC which is cyclical redundancy check or by content both of these are overly thorough for most situations um, and by default um, free commander will compare to see if the file names have changed and if the time has changed and so that's usually good enough for comparing uh, files um, but you can experiment with just a few dozen files um, on your computer to see if uh, if it's too slow for you and uh, gradually move your way up don't select several thousand file folders to begin with because again you will very likely hang your system um, so uh, let's go ahead and compare, and you'll see that um, it's a little bit off the screen. Here, I'll uh, drag this down, and you'll see that uh, down here is a few more files. It's, it's empty here, and um <coughs> <coughs> and so these arrows are suggesting that everything on the left side is going to be uh, copied over to the right side and let's go ahead and synchronize. It's going to um, give me uh, another confirmation box and uh, this is uh, this is a little bit confusing um, the uh, confirmation box um, everything that's happening on the left to the right side is happening at the top and everything on that's uh, from right to left is happening on the bottom so that's not a very user-friendly uh, feature of free commander but uh, it's free so it uh, but it does work very well if you know how to use it and you notice the only thing that um, has a checkbox in all these checkboxes options, the only thing that has a checkbox is a copy on the top part, which suggests left to right, and it's copying to the target folder, which is uh, the D drive, which I had made. And 
then I just click OK to confirm, and then voila, all the file listings are gone, which means that all the work has been done, and I can verify that by opening up my um, D and the um, my documents here and I will uh, give you more tips on how to use this in the next video.